Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial video for you. I'm going to show you how to do a color fade using Light Elegance P Plus from their afternoon picnic collection and the new Jimmy Gels. Now this is a viewer requested video, so if this interests you, just keep on watching. Okay, so here's the color palette I'm going to use. Now this is from the Afternoon Picnic collection, their spring collection, and I'm going to use Let's Get Together, What's in Your Basket, this one's one of my favorites, Delightful Day, Under the Shade Tree, which is a gorgeous pastel mint green, and Breathless, which I use a lot over top of almost any color. <laughs> And we're going to use the new Jimmy Gel Ideal Pink and Soft Pink. And today I'm using my Glamour Liz hand, which is Elsa. And I've already prepped the tips, we're ready to go. Unfortunately, I don't know what size tips I've used. I did film this a few weeks ago and I completely forgot to make a note of it for you guys. So I'm going in with tack right away. Doing this on a practice hand, you don't need to do this step, but if you were doing this process on a client, go in with tack, scrub it into the nails and then cure for 30 seconds. So after the tack is cured, I'm going in with, I think I'm gonna start with Delightful Day. I'm just gonna put very little on my brush. You don't need a whole lot. And I'm putting the majority of the color on the tip of the nail first, and then I'm moving towards the cuticle. And I'm only painting the color on about two thirds of the way down the nail. Then I'll take my ombre brush and feather it towards the cuticle. Then I do the same process on the rest of the nails with the color palette I chose. So I'm just gonna let you sit back and enjoy this process. So once I finish all five nails, I will cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. This product doesn't move around. I found that I could do all five nails at once and then cure. So after I cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a second layer of the same colors on again. I'm going to do this process all over again. But when I use my ombre brush, I'm only dragging the color back half the amount that I did the first time. You don't want to go back as far as you did the first go around. Does that make sense? If not, comment below and I'll let you know what I'm trying to explain here. <laughs> and then again, after I've done all five nails, I will again cure for 30 seconds. And after the second layer of color it has been cured, I will go in with the Ideal Pink and you can see I've got very little product on my brush. I'm butting the product up to the cuticle and then brushing it down towards the free edge. And I'm not gonna take the Ideal Pink all the way to the tip of the free edge. I'm gonna go about just halfway, I guess, and then take my ombre brush, as you saw, and feather it towards the free edge. Now I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch 
from the ideal pink to the tip of the free edge, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not putting any Jimmy Gel on that section of the nail at all. I want the tip of the nail to be very bold with color because the rest of the nail is a fade. So you want the tip to have the majority of the color without adding the bulk. I hope that makes sense. The viscosity of the Jimmy Gel is thick enough where you can do all five nails at once. You don't need to cure after each nail, which I kind of like it. it speeds up the service a little bit more so once all five nails are done then I will cure for one minute here I am going back in with a second layer doing the same process as the first layer and curing again for one minute so I'm just gonna let you sit and watch this So after the second layer of Ideal Pink Jimmy Gel has been cured for one minute, I'm going to go in with the Soft Pink and I'm going to put a thin layer over top of the entire nail, a very thin layer, like a slip layer. Then I'm going in with a little bit more on my brush, putting more Soft Pink on covering everything, making sure everything is all sealed in. And then I'm gonna tip the hand upside down, as you can see I'm doing here. So the gravity will pull the Jimmy Gel downwards to create a really nice apex as you can see here. Then I will cure for one minute. And this process I do one finger at a time. So after the Jimmy Gel has been cured for one minute, I will cleanse the nails and get rid of the tacky layer on top. I've taken the nail itself out of the hand because when I'm filing, I don't like to scratch up the silicone of the hand. So you're just gonna see how I would file lightly just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Then I'm going in with my coarse sponge buffer and just smoothing out all the scratches. Then when I'm done filing, I will cleanse with alcohol and here you go. The, everything is nice and smooth and I can go on to the next process of this design and that is taking the Breathless P Plus and just putting a one coat on just to give it a little sparkle, a little bling. And then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Breathless is a glitter that I use a lot of. I'll put over top of a color if there's some imperfections and I just want to camouflage it. This is a great fine glitter that you can use over top of any color just to jazz it up a little. I'm thinking this glitter gel is going to have to go into a favorites video. That's how much I like it. <laughs> 
And then for the last step of this design, I go in with the P plus top coat, put it on all five nails and cure for one minute. Now this top coat is not a no wipe top coat. You do have to wipe the dispersion layer off. And I actually like this top coat better than the wipe off or the no wipe top coats. I find that the shine is incredibly shiny. It lasts for three weeks. I have clients that will use the P plus or I'll put the P plus on them and the top coat as well and their nails come back shiny. They don't dull. It wears really well and it's quite durable so you don't get the scratches that you can get with a no wipe top coat. So another little tip, after I cure the top coat for one minute, I will wait about 30 seconds before I wipe the tacky layer off. And I find the top coat is just so much more shinier that way. So I don't have any risk of dulling if I take the dispersion layer off right out of the lamp. I do the same thing for the super shiny. I cure for one minute and then wait 30 seconds before I wipe the dispersion layer off. And that's recommended by LE themselves. So here is the final look. A really simple design. It is so easy. There's no need to stress over doing a color fade with these products. I saw this technique done by Selena Ryden and she said it was super easy to do so I thought I would try it and she's absolutely right. It is as simple as what you guys saw on camera. So give it a try. Let me know how you do. If you need help send me a message. Comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help troubleshoot some areas you might be struggling with. So that is it for this video you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!